Okay, part E. Um, at 7 a.m. on July the 31st, Yinka is on holiday in South Africa. He uses the regression equation to estimate the temperature when the height above sea level is 500 meters. Find the estimated temperature Yinka calculates. So our equation is T equals 18.7 minus 0 0.9, sorry, 795, 0.795. Okay, 0 0.7. Mm. <coughs> Sorry about that, 795 times H. Okay, now you've got to be really careful here. This is like a question designed uh, for you to lose marks in because most people would think, ah, oh, H is 500 meters. However, if you go back to the beginning of the question, right at the start, it says H is in 100 meters. Okay, so H is measured in 100 meters. Okay, so 500 meters, that means H is equal to 5, not 500. Okay, because H is measured in 100 meters. Okay, so you have to put 18.7 minus 0 0.795 times 5, not 500. If you put 500, you get a ridiculously low answer, which is colder than the... This is the North Pole. <clears throat> okay, so one second, let's get my calculator. That's not my calculator. There's my calculator. Okay, it's gone again. One second. Hold on. Okay, there's my calculator. So we have <clears throat> 18.7. Minus 0 0.795 times 5, okay, which gives us the answer, which is 14.7, okay, 14.7, um, let's write it to a high degree of accuracy first and then round it, it's 14.725 according to these numbers here, which is 14.7 um, to 3 SF degree Celsius. So that's the answer for that part. If you wanted to be more accurate, you could, you could actually use these values, okay, you could use the values before we rounded them, you could use these fractions, 16706, oh, whoops, I'm sorry, let me sort it out again, okay, 161706 over 891 minus, minus 236, over 297 okay and you multiply that by 5 and that will give you answer 14.77 that would actually give you 14.8 okay 14.8 if we use this we get 14.8 so I guess either of them would be okay but this is a more accurate answer according to that's if we use the more precise figures Okay, which is 16,076 16, over 896 over 297, yeah. Okay, so this, these are, like you get 14.7766, 14.7766. So, either of those are acceptable. This is what you get with the rounded, this is what you get with the unrounded uh, numbers if you use that. Okay, so both those answers would be acceptable, I guess, but this is probably more precise. Okay, as it's just an estimate, it doesn't really matter so much because it's just estimating. But anyway, what would be the validity of our answer in part E? Well, you see, all of the data that Yannika or Yinka took was in July in France. And you're looking at the temperatures in July in South Africa. Okay, so the, the fact that they're in two different parts of the world, okay, it shows that maybe you can't, it's, you, this will be unreliable because they're in two different parts of the world. And if, if you have some idea of ge geography, you'll understand that South Africa is in the Southern Hemisphere and uh, France is in the Northern Hemisphere. And in July, it's uh, winter in, in South Africa and it's summer in France. So, you know, it's unreliable um, because The regression line, okay, the regression equation is for France. 
regression equation is for France and okay and can and and may not apply to South Africa not apply to South Africa South Africa okay and that's the answer uh, to part D and E.